Hey guys, welcome back to Robu. Hope you guys are doing well, staying safe. And today, in this video, what we're going to talk about is how to put Android in your Raspberry Pi. Stay tuned. So a lot of you have been asking us how do you put Android in your Raspberry Pi and it's exactly how you put your Raspberry Pi or Raspbian OS into your Raspberry Pi. This OS is called Lineage OS and it's exactly like Android, it's Android 10. But before you put this into your Raspberry Pi, there are a few things to note. The first thing, this is not an official build. The Raspberry Pi developers have not developed this OS to be put into your Raspberry Pi. So this is not an official Raspberry Pi build, it's a different unofficial build. And the second thing that you have to note is that, do it at your own risk. The Raspberry Pi official team does not suggest that you put this into your Raspberry Pi, it's because it's not an official build. So do it at your own risk because I don't know if the warranty and everything of the Raspberry Pi will work if your device gets damaged or something because of this. So so yeah, like uh, make sure that you have these things noted and in mind before you start this process. So the first thing that you have to do is go to the Lineage OS site where you have to download this operating system from. The link is provided you down in the description. Check it out. And once you've downloaded the operating system, all you have to do is etch that into your SD card just like you do a Raspberry Pi or Raspberry OS using Win32 Disk Imager or Balena Etcher. And if you don't know how to etch the OS or ISO files into your Raspberry Pi SD card, we have made an entire video on how to etch your Raspberry OS and Raspberry Pi OS into your SD card. You can check that out right here. So once you've done that, just insert the SD card into your Raspberry Pi plug it onto your display and that's it. This works exactly like Android does because this is basically Android, it's Android 10. This is great for Android developers, testers and everything because you have Android on this system, on your Raspberry Pi and this board is fantastic. You can browse your internet, you can connect that to your Wi-Fi, you can just play games, download games, you can watch YouTube. Also, you can visit Robo.in and order a few stuff for your projects as well. <laughs> also, this thing cannot do a few things like calling, SMS and everything because it doesn't have a SIM card inserted and all that sort. You just can't use it as like a proper smartphone because it doesn't have all those bands and everything of that sort. But you can use it as uh, for basically everything else. <laughs> And that's it, that's how you put an Android operating system into your Raspberry Pi. Just a fun little thing that you can do, but at your own risk. Make sure that you are noting that down because this is not an official build, again. If you like this video, leave it a like, share it with your friends, let them know how you can put Android into your Raspberry Pi. And comment down below what other videos would you want us to make. And subscribe if you already haven't. We are coming up with a lot more fun videos and fun projects as well. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.